Hi, it's Stephanie, and this screener is just a, a quick screener to show you how to create a constant motion effect in PowerPoint. I had encountered this effect this morning after looking at Tom's screener where he had done a screener with a hand coming up on the screen and then coming off, going off the screen. I'd looked at that and then I was out surfing the web and I encountered this website where I was sitting there looking at it, trying to make a decision on something, and then I noticed that the graphics were actually moving. And it was just a subtle motion and I thought, oh, is that ever cool? I wonder if I can do that in PowerPoint. So I went ahead and tried to recreate it. But let's start with what Tom did first. So on slide number one here, this is just some published output from Articulate Presenter. So slide number one is what Tom did. So there's a motion path going upward and then a motion path going downward, just on slight angles to make it look a little bit uh, more realistic. So an upward motion path and then a downward motion path. Uh, so let's take a look at what I did. So it starts the same way, upward motion path, but then it doesn't go down right away. It just kind of stays there and it's floating around a bit. Um, what I've done with the Gumby and Pokey pictures, I've made that background of the picture transparent so you can see what's in the window behind the picture as it's moving around and the continue button is following. It's part of the same object and, uh, and it'll just continue cycling around. When I click continue, it goes off to slide number three. Some elements go away and then lesson one begins. So that's the idea. Now let's show you how I did that. So basically it's a three slide deck here. The first slide was just repeating what Tom had done this morning. Slide number two is what we're looking at and this is the one that uh, does, it starts the same way as Tom's. So there's a motion path here for this group. There's a group of objects. This group is called group number 12. So its first animated effect is an appear effect alongside of an upward motion path. And you can see the upward motion path. So you do both of those effects in conjunction so that one doesn't appear on the screen before the other. And Tom mentioned that in his screener as well. And then the additional effect I added was a teardrop motion path. And I slowed it right down to 10 seconds. So basically what I, I had actually tried to hand draw a motion path and it was coming out a little bit jerky. So what I did was I just went up into the animation menu under motion paths, more motion paths. And then under the basic uh, options here, there's one called teardrop. If you do that, it comes in very large, and what you want to do is just size it all the way down. It's very tiny. You can see six little white handles. That's the size of it here, so it's really quite a tiny teardrop. But what will happen is, is when it animates, it's going to go to the right. So it's going to follow that teardrop pattern all the way around uh, uh, clockwise, and then it's going to do that counterclockwise. What I've done is under the options for the this effect is I've changed the timing to 10 seconds so I slowed it way down. Now you might remember that uh, in PowerPoint it, it shows you these five options very slow being five seconds so you have to type in if you want it any slower you have to type that in manually so just type in 10 seconds there and then under the effect tab just check auto reverse and that will make it so that it goes really slow in both directions leaving enough time on the screen to create that kind of motion effect. And that's really all I did. This, this element here is just a regular fly in from the left. When you click continue, all that you're doing is hyperlinking to the next slide in the slide deck. And that slide just has a few simple elements. This element up at the top here, what would you like to do? It does a fly off to the right. The group 12 with Gumby Pokey in the hands, that disappears. It does a fly off down to the bottom. Well, at the same time, lesson one, this text appears up on the screen. And that's it. So let's go back over to that published output and take a look at it one more time. So this is what Tom had done. Slide in, open uh, motion path up and then down. Slide number two is the motion path up and then it's just going to hang around here and you can see that it's very very slowly actually drawing that teardrop shape. It's following that path. When it gets back up to the top of the teardrop it's going to repeat that all the way back through. And then I click continue, which just goes to slide number three, where the elements fly off the screen unless someone appears. So I hope you find that useful.